Yes, hello, good morning, or I think it's afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Yes, you're welcome again to another wonderful episode. And today I'm going to be reviewing um, an application that I've been working on for quite a while called Teamland. And it's basically an application that allows you to manage your projects and your tasks from one um, from one app. You know, so we're going to be going through some of the features today. I'm just going to sign in now with my email. So I'm just going to be going through some of the features on the, sorry, let me um, go live. And all right, so I'm logged in right now. And there are a couple of features that I wanted to highlight. So I'm using an admin. Um, I'm basically using an admin functionality. So an admin is basically someone that's able to, you know, control various, um, have access to various functionalities within the app, you know. So an admin can create new projects, can create a new team, and they also have access to um, the admin roles, um, of course, to approve vacation requests, and um, also and some other functionalities within the app so let's go into this project for example so okay first of all before i go into that project let me just highlight what's going on here so this is the name of the company right so when you create an account of course you put your company name and you put some details there and um, that should show up within your profile so here you're going to be able to see my profile you can see my name first name last name you can see my manager and um, other information and like that so this is your company name so if you want to create a new project, you just click on create a new project. So let's quickly create a new project. Let's call this um, testing marketing. And let's call this um, YouTube test. All right. So if I click on save, so that will take me into the, um, that will take me into the project itself where I can go ahead to add members and things like that. But if I go back, uh, you're going to see that it's going to appear underneath here and if i want this to be pinned i can click on that and it's going to come up first as the pinned project so i'm just going to click into it and i'm going to add a member so um if you don't have um members within this particular group you can simply invite a team member and what you can do is that you can send them you know, you can type their first name and you can send them an email. So, for example, let's say I want to send an email to um, one of my other emails here. And I can just call this person Fidelis, right? Sorry, <laughs> I'm supposed to put the first name here. And here, I think you have email. <laughs> That's my error. So, if I send the email invitation now, right so fidelis will be added but once fidelis creates their account it will reflect all these other things right so what's going on here so here i can edit this uh, maybe i don't want it to be testing markets i can call this um genius marketing and i can call this um test um course validation so if i you know save this it's going to save that information i can i can also edit the list from here and this functionality is really available to people with admin admin roles so what do we have going on here so you see that you can add a member you can also change the project let's say i want the project manager for this to be somebody else i can change that information right there and if i want to remove a member i can simply click this to remove a member and if i want to search for members in my group i can search for for example for val and add val once i click this val is added to the group i can also search for people in my company i can search for fidelis and just click this and fidelis will be added to the group i can search for Boomi admin and just click on this and i can change the project manager so for me to change the project manager that person needs to have project management um, capabilities on that their account and i'll show you how to do that so I can just add all these members. So as you can see, all of these members have been added into Genius Marketing. 
right so let's go ahead to create a task so to create a task we just click on this and click on new task so i'm going to call this task um let's just call this um graphics graphics developer right and i click on next so that takes me into the to do so i can now create that okay we want to create a one page screenshot you know and uh, let's just i don't want this due on any date and you know um assign to who so here i can say i want to assign this task to Bumi Aminu, and i want to assign this task to this thing well when done notify well, it's going to notify me and then notes area so this is where you can put information about the you know you can put some information about uh, you know the um the task so let's say i want this i can save that you know and check out the files on um, page three of the document right and so i can say okay, if i want this to be an urgent task or urgent task that is not urgent so once i save um so i mean there's some backend flow you know backend workflow going on there but here we do we have the task and we have the information if i want this to be completed i just mark this it's marked completed i can also do that from here mark it as completed and if i don't want this to be urgent i can just you know i can scroll down and i remove this urgency and i can also change the progress of the task so let's say the task is at 50 percent completed I can save this, you know, and um, that's just the backend workflow again. I see it's going to reflect at fifty percent. So you can create as many to dos under each task. You can also change the title of the task from here. So let's say graphic development um, company, for example. You just Take from there and it's going to save automatically. So if I click on my list of tasks, I can see a group of tasks that I have, and I can see the latest one, which is graphics development company. And I can just click on this. I can either delete this task or I can make this task a template. So if I make this task a template, for example, and I, you know, go back to my home and I go back to Genius Marketing, and I. You can see that the task has reflected here, so I can see the list of my tasks here as well. So if I click on this and I click on new task, so it's going to say or use the template. So I can use it, I can just click on this and use this template. Um, that should close, and then you see it's going to have copy, and then I can now rename this as something else. And let's say I can rename this as um, beauty salon, for example. So this is not working so fine as it should and the reason why is because this is what i just did is a backend workflow and the backend workflow is not working so well with this um, app plan because I'm, I'm actually testing this on the free plan right but that's just the feature that is actually available right now on team lab you know so what are the other features i'd like to show you well let's just go back um, once this finished loading okay so so that's that about about tasks basically so you can see the different tasks that have been assigned that have been created all right so next thing i just would like to show you is documents and files right so this um project management application allows you to upload documents and files regarding each client of projects that you're working on so once you upload a document or file it gets saved here so that, that helps you to be able to access all your documents and files from one location right so you can just click on new documents and you can either create like a document maybe you want to write like a blog post kind of document. you click on this let's say like the minutes of meeting let's say minutes of meeting um to, uh, 15 08 2022 and i can just type out okay number one we discussed um facebook ads two google ads three 
copywriting for training. So we can just then once you're done that, you publish and um, I think my network is a bit slow right now. I'm just going to try and refresh. So apologies, that was just an error with my network. So I'm just going to click publish now. And you're going to see like a nice style, you know, with some um, minutes of meeting here and things like that. So you can also upload from your Google Drive. And with that, all you just need to do is just paste the link and select the kind of file, whether it's a sheet or it's a slide or it's a document, you know, or it's a doc. Right, or it's, a, or it's a slide or it's a doc. So you just paste the link and then you type the file name and put the notes. Um, I'm not, not going to do that now. Another thing you can do is that you can upload a document as well. So I'm going to, I'm actually going to upload a document for my system, and you can do that, you know, from the application. All right. So I've just gone ahead to upload this course. Um, this is a PDF, and I can just type a bit of notes about this. So just say, um, full scale course template. And you can just save that. And you can also add a label to your document, basically. So let's say I want this to be, I can say this is a course, and I can say this is a um, I can say this is a minute, right? You can add as many labels as you want. Say so your course, you can add label, and I can say I can also call this business. You know, you can add as many, and if you don't want a label, you just remove it, right? And then, yeah, you can also, you know, add your Google Drive as well. I need to work on something there. So, I'm going to go back to my home. And I'll go back to the home. That's what is a bit slow. Go back to my genius marketing. And now you're going to see that the, there's a reflection. Yeah, you have minutes and you also have your PDF file. I know, and some other information there. Right, so you can see that all of this is changing based on, this is changing based on the information that we are putting and once i click on my documents and files i'm able to click on this i'm able to see my minutes of meeting i'm able to make changes and add you know landing page and then just click on save you know i'm able to see all of that information right so all right okay okay Uh, all right, so next up, I would say is the charts. So chat is basically kind of, I would say straightforward. The charts, you are able to, you know, make a chat, chat with somebody in the group. So let's say I want to chat with um, Lubumi, for example. I click on her, you know, this would allow me to tag her. And then I just, you know, hello. You're welcome to the group, right? And because she doesn't have a profile picture, it's not really showing the, the face. So let's say I want to tag myself, for example. Let's let me try and tag myself. You know, you can see it shows up. I can be here's a reminder. Yeah, so you can see it shows up there. You know, so, and if I tag myself, uh, to remove myself from that, you know, it doesn't go out like this, but you have to click on this again for me to take me out of the tagging. And you can tag as many people as you like. So, you know, chatting is basically straightforward. You can, you can upload documents into the chat, you know. So if you upload a document here, it doesn't reflect the documents, because this is just documents strictly for chats. 
does it reflect the document for the um for the for the for the project? You can upload the file from there. Right. So I'd say that's basically like the major features. You have the document, you can see the recent files, recent charts will come up here. And what else would I like to show you? Um, you can also check out your calendar, which is just the basic calendar. And then if you have any um, tasks, any to do's coming up, it's going to come up under here. You can see the task and you can see the project. I'm just going to close this. Um, and then, you know, pings referring to notifications, which is like a back end workflow. So I have to, um, you know, but it works fine. And then here you have out of office notifications. So out of office notifications basically is like you know a feature that if you are going on leave, you can pull like the date that your leave will be starting and the date that your leave would end. So let's say I want my leave to start on the 20th. I want my leave to start on the 20th. Sorry. And I want it to end on the 31st. I will just request for a vacation and any vacation that is requested for I can see all my vacation requests here and you can see there's a notification here that somebody requested for a vacation so because I'm an admin I can see this request so once I click on this it takes me to the vacation request itself and then removes that you know so I can see that a computer I requested for a vacation so I can click on it and I can either say yes or I can leave it at no. So if I say yes, that means I approve the application. And if I save, so there's an API that needs to be activated by the module because we are still on the free plan. Um, it's not going to activate that API yet, but you can see that the application has been approved for computer model. And so if I go back to my out of office notifications now, I'm going to see that this vacation was approved right and so i can go for my vacation all right then last picture i just wanted to show you is that me roles so roles basically means you can set up the roles for people within your company so let's say i want to change this person's role to project manager so the person will appear as a project manager and i can change this person to i can just leave this person as he is you don't really i just remember you don't really have a role and I can search for people based on their super admin roles, whether they are admin or they are project managers. You know, I can also search for the names, you know, of the people and things like that. So that's all. Um, so if you would like access to this template, um, I'm selling a one year license. You can reach out to me for the price. And that will also include helping you with the integration of you know so that you can use this for your company or you want to use it for your clients and things like that so i'll give you a one year access to this template and that includes um you know helping you set it up helping you with the modifications and things of that nature right so you can reach out to me for a one year license um it's quite affordable and hopefully you would find value with using this template so this does not include the a monthly fee that you have to pay to bubble which is the minimum of 39 dollars per month right so that will be borne by you thank you and have a good day